Hey guys, and welcome back to War Thunder. It's Krebsy here in the maze. Ooh, spooky. Indeed, very spooky. This is a custom user mission uh, made in War Thunder. In fact, I'm going to be showing you guys three custom user missions in this video. And I just absolutely love them because people can get so creative in these missions. And the only wish is that people would make more of them. So, this is the maze. Uh, it's not as simple as you might think it to be, you know, just find your way out. I mean, you know, that is the primary ob objective. But I also read uh, that there are baddies within this maze. And by baddies, I mean people, tanks, tonks, that will try to kill me. <laughs> nice added uh, bit of spice right there, isn't it? So that's going to be kind of interesting to find out, you know, how to get out of this maze. But also... Trying to stay alive at the same time, as if I didn't have a lot on my plate already. Right, uh, mazes are literally as random as they go. You know, if I was on like a paper maze or something, then I could easily see where the ending would be. Oh my gosh, what the hell? Oh no, is this one of those baddies? Do you fire? <laughs> I, I, I didn't think you would shoot back! <laughs> I thought he was just gonna look at me. That okay, that is a live tank. That is a live tank, everybody. Um great. So I've gotta try to find my way out, but stay alive. Interesting. I guess we'll probably go a different direction then, because that's not gonna work at all. Going that way. I think it was like around here somewhere. Where was that? Just over to the right, I think, right? Because it's like a big open area. Yeah, over there. That was where the baddie tank was. Oh god no! No! How many bad tanks are there? <laughs> Wait, he's not looking at me. He gave up. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And he disappeared. Fantastic. They only last 10 seconds or so I read. That'd be hilarious if they actually chased you around the maze. Could you imagine that? What the hell? Press Z, the zoom key, to teleport to another part point in the maze. Okay. Whoa! That's pretty awesome. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know you could press like, or actually program it so you press Z and then, oh my, no. No. You are afraid. Oh, these tanks aren't that bad. Look at that. You can just out-circle him. Uh oh. <laughs> it'd be hilarious if they actually chased you around the maze. That'd be awesome, because it'd be almost like Pac-Man in a way. In fact, you could probably make Pac-Man in this game if you spent enough time doing it. But, uh, okay, let's go along this direction. Those tanks aren't scary. They're not too bad. Uh, can we go that way? Yes, we can. But the question is... How will I actually find my way out? Well... No freaking idea, dude. And this is actually something that I've uh, thought about. Like, I always wanted to do a hedge maze, but at the same time, it's kind of a scary thing. Like, you know, a hedge maze in real life. But it's kind of a scary thing at the same time, because what if you get lost? Like, say if you do a massive hedge maze because there's also small ones but like a big one it could be like a kind of scary experience if you get lost in there because how are you gonna find your way out you could try to climb the hedge if that's possible I'm not sure try to grab onto the branches probably like break your arm at the same time but uh, yeah that would be a spooky thing okay if I don't find my way in the next like few seconds then we will move on to the next user mission was around this corner. Okay. Nada. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Why? Why? Why a dead end? It's not so bad. It's not so bad. Okay, so that is the maze, guys. You guys can check it out yourself. The link is gonna be in the description box below. So the next user mission is this assault course in planes. I mean, it looks really simple, and you have to land at the end, by the way. It looks really simple, but it is a lot harder than you than you might expect it to be. I would I would really recommend for you guys to try this out and do it in one go. And if you want an even harder challenge, then do it in your cockpit only. All right. Let, uh, tell me if you can. Write in the comment box below if you manage to actually successfully do one of those challenges in the cockpit or whatever, or even doing it in one life. All right, I'm gonna slow down in anticipation because I know what's coming up. It's this drop, and then there's a big climb as well. It's so freaking hard to do in your planes because look at it, you're like fighting against gravity. 
Okay, we're good. We're good. Turn! Turn! No! Yes! No! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you will leave your aircraft. Okay, let's just jump out. And then it'll spawn me, like, quite nearby. Oh, okay, need to turn around first. It is much harder than you would expect it to be. Okay, I do want to complete it, though. I haven't gotten to the actual end. I'm intrigued to find out how far I can actually go myself. Into the tunnel! But it's so hard to aim for that thing. This could actually make you a better pilot in War Thunder. Guys, if you want to train to be a better pilot in War Thunder, or learn to fly better, then this is a good assault course to try and help you do that, just that thing right there. Uh-oh. Okay. Up. Oh. Good. Good. See, it looks straightforward like it's just a normal tunnel, but you're actually going against gravity as well. So that's why it's awkward. Oh, speed up! <laughs> I need more altitude. Oh no. Oh no. This is a windy bit. Oh! <laughs> Come on. Come on. This is like the, the Star Star Wars scene. Reenacted when they're going on the Death Star, trying to like destroy it. Oh my gosh, I'm going fast. Ooh. Down? Oh gosh. Here we go. We're going straight down. Straight down. Oh, very good. And now, up. It's going to be vertical. We've got to aim this properly. Okay. Where's the entrance? Oh my gosh. I'm not even throttling up right now. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's well hard. Hold on. Oh my dear me. I'm going to need so much speed. So I actually got to build up my speed prior to this. Like, you know, in the uh, prior tunnel. There is no way I'm going to be go able to go up vertically with th this amount of speed. I'm going to try. I will try it. Alright, here we go. Here we go. And up. Up into the tunnel! It's not going to happen, is it? <laughs> it's... Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Uh, and you only have, like, five lives to do this, by the way. So we're going to... We're going to skip that bit. We're going to say that we did it. And now... There is a final landing place. This is it. This is it. Wait, there's two la- There's three- There's three places to land? Oh my. This looks pretty sweet. Is this just like a city road? I think it is. <laughs> oh, come on, landing gear! Oh, we did it! We did <laughs> I did it! I wonder if you could actually land that with your uh, landing gear, though. And there you go, guys. We're gonna- We're gonna say that we did that successfully, alright? And this final user mission is a simple one. It's to land the float plane in that lake. Now you might be thinking right now, that's a huge lake, that's gonna be really easy. Yeah, from up here in the sky it looks huge. Now mind you how fast I'm actually going, and then when I get closer down towards the ground it becomes a lot smaller. That is my landing zone. <laughs> it's absolutely freaking tiny, given how much speed I got. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. And here's an added challenge. Uh, l take off from the lake again. Oh, my dearie me. Here we go. Well, that was rough. That was really rough. Oh, no. <laughs> Turn! Turn! I'm taking off again! Whoa! I've never seen so such an absurd maneuvers. <laughs> I didn't even mean to take off again. That was absolutely absurd. Oh my dearie me. Look what's going on here. You spawn in with like only a hundred kilometers an hour or something. Come on. Alright. Alright, I think I need to slow down a lot more before I actually land on the lake. Okay, so if I make a full turn here, hopefully I'll have enough speed. Come on. Oh! Whoa! That takeoff position. Getting back into this. So strange. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Third time lucky. Alright, this time I'm going to properly try to reduce my speed before I go in. Do, 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 do. Like, properly all the way down almost, you know? Get that landing flaps on the go. Maybe I'll even land before I go in. Hold on. Maybe I can do that. Let's land. Let's touch on the ground. Have to make sure I 
aim this well though between the trees. Yes, yes. Good. Huzzah! Nice. Okay, 73. Okay, breaks, breaks, breaks. I don't think you get breaks on hydroplanes. Well, my breaks are my machine guns. Alright. Come on, slow down, you bastard. Slow down! Slow down! She, she's not slowing down. Hold on. I, 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 gotta, I gotta turn this around real quick. Come on. Come Oh, no. <laughs> I did it! I did it! I landed! <laughs> I can't believe it! Oh man, that took a lot of tries. Now, the added challenge. Take off again. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's gonna be kind of fun. I don't, mean, I don't want to underestimate it. It's, I, I want to say it's gonna be easy, but at the same time... Okay, that's clearly not enough of a runway. Oh my gosh. No! No! <laughs> Damn it! Oh, I felt like it was in my reach, but it clearly wasn't. <laughs> so there we go, guys. The links to these challenges, these custom user missions, are going to be in the description box below if you want to go try them out yourselves. Feel free to let me know if you managed to actually accomplish some of these challenges in the comment box below. So until the next one, this is Krebsy, and I'll catch you guys later. Was local for show that we gave in the rope that's opposed to the dope.